Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God a higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings, greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Hallelujah. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit. And find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a little tick by the side. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them. So, brothers and sisters, I'm just trying to get comfortable. Um, uh, watch a video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. And also we do something called the top 20 and the beautiful beloved in the most high. I give your name a little shout out. Continue to like the videos. Continue to watch till the end. Um, uh, just help with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. And thank you for those of you who have blessed me through PayPal. Really, really appreciate it. It's been my bread and butter. And thank you for those of you who have used this platform by using the thanks button and the super thanks button on the shorts video if you can to bless me. I appreciate it. Thank you very, 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 very much. All right. We are near. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist, the lawless one. He is coming. Daniel 7 verse 25 tells you Satan will change times, laws, and season. This world will look like Mad Max. I believe that when Yesiah says that you should pray to be found worthy to escape, I believe he is talking about the woman in Revelation 12 with the 12 stars around her head, which represent the 12 Hebrew Yashahelai tribes scattered to the four corners of the earth. The most is going to do an event called the Great Global Worldwide Second Exodus. Many people don't believe because they believe that Yesiah, they call him Jesus. Any minute now, Jesus is coming. Not true. Second Exodus first. You really need, you know, some people say, Oh, Sister Carrie, and what's the second Exodus? I never heard about it. I am saying to you, you have to do your own research. So, read Revelation 12 and seek the face of the Most High and ask him, Who is the woman in Revelation 12. And when you get that revelation in your spirit, you know that the second exodus, you'll know about the second exodus, but you will not understand the sex. You will not understand the second exodus, nor, or will you fathom the idea that a second exodus is looming unless you understand who the woman in Revelation 12 is. Once you get that revelation in your spirit and you understand, then you'll know that the woman represents the 12 Hebrew. Just ask, go do your own research, the 12 stars. We're in the Bible that talks about the 12 stars. That's the Hebrew tribes, the 12 scattered tribe of Yahshua hell. He's going to regather us. I'm telling you, well, it is coming. It is coming. And um, and some of some people that are, who are not of the tribe of of Yeshahel, they are coming as well because they represent the woman, the true church, the true, wonderful, lovely, authentic believers of higher. Hallelujah. We have a prophetic theme song. Well, before the prophetic theme song, remember that the second exodus happens before the sixth seal, two separate events. Because the sixth seal, we know what time it is. Yeah, star and moon, dark and sun of man in the clouds of glory coming with his reward to pay every man according to their deeds. Every man, not just some, everybody is going to get paid according to their deeds. So, you have to make sure you live holy and righteous in Yesiah. All right? Our prophetic theme song called We Are Near. So, song that my mama taught me when I was a little girl. She said, Sweeties and Toys. When we're near to the stove, she used to sing a song called How Near You Are. Fitting song for these in time because truly we are near. We're not only near, but it is time. All right? And the song goes like this. Oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now, hallelujah, 
Yes, we are near. And we can sing that song with Red Confidence. Our brothers and sisters, two ministers God, I've got. And Time Prophetic Ministries and Hebrew Yeshua Lights. All right, let me... Let me do this one because I've got two videos to do. But let me do this one. I think this one is important, isn't it? This one is important. It's about me mommy vision. Because anytime my mom's got because she's a prophetess as well. So um yes, let me do this one. So whenever she has she gets any vision from the most uh, higher, she shares them with me, and I share them with you, the body of Christ. Alright. So I spoke into me good old mommy the other day and um, she said I had a, a vision the most I gave me a vision she said there's a couple of visions I want to share with you but uh, she said I'll share this one with you she said this was a very very quick vision all right um, and she said in this vision she saw um, the number five appears to her for some reason I don't know my mom maybe that's her gift but Almost all of our visions are numbery. Four angels or three this or two that or eight, six, six or she's always seen number. I don't. I, I, my 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 gift is a little bit different from my mom, but my mom her gift really is number number she got a lot of number vision. But anyways, so she said in this vision she saw the big number five appeared to her. So I said, what else was in the vision? She said, nothing else. She said, that was it. She, she, she was standing and the number five, just like what appeared on a huge screen in front of her. She said, when I came out the vision, she said, I began to speak to the most. Uh, she, she calls him Jesus still. Honey. So she began to speak to Jesus. We would speak to Yesaya. All right. And um, the Lord, Ahaya, began to reveal to her through the Holy Spirit what that number five signifies and what is the significance and why he has shown her the number five. And she says to me that, first of all, she says to me, do you know, <laughs> she has asked, she said, what, do you, what do you think that number five represents? And I did say to her, we're trying to think, because I'm thinking about five. Because I always go by the Bible with numbers, you know. I always see where the five comes up and stuff like that. And I just couldn't, I couldn't think of any, at the time, I couldn't think of any number, anything to match it with. But certainly, I know it's prophetic. Because it could be five months, five weeks, whatever, you know. And so she said, no. She said, once she began to ask the most uh, about the number five and what it means and the significance, she said, the higher began to speak to her spirit and say to her that the five, the number five that she saw represent the fifth angel. Hmm. Are you listening, brothers and sisters? Are you, are you listening? This is what my mom says. She said, the Holy Spirit revealed to her and said, the reason why I showed you the number five is because it represents the fifth angel, which must come to pass. And it's not long. This is prophecy, brothers and sisters. So I couldn't remember the top of my head what the fifth angel represents, but I read it. So this is it, Revelation 9. <clears throat> Watch this. This is very important. Because something is about to happen, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Revelation. Bear them are hamlin in the back of your head. I have to talk about that entity. It looks like I forgot to mention this entity all the time I do my videos. Because everything is just linking up and it's making sense. Everything is... Oh my Lord. Yes, Lord. Oof. I had just revealed something to my, in my spirit. This entity that's in them are... Let's read Revelation 9. Let's do some linking up. Let's read Revelation 9. About the fifth angel. What's the fifth angel? And the fifth angel sounded. And I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth. Now. 
understand what star means. This is not your natural, pretty, pretty, twinkle, twinkle little star that John is talking about. No, in this case, star represents fallen angels. That what that's what it does. Stars, star number represent angel, but it's fallen. So it's a fallen angel. Come on, not church. Fallen, fallen angel. So let's continue. So the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven, fallen angel, fall from heaven onto the earth. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. <laughs> bottomless pit. So I wonder if this predator that they've conjured up because remember I said that this, this entity in Damar is high ranking. It's not just a little baby falling, weaky, weaky, falling angel. No, no, no. This is a... I said to you when the entity Damar was walking in in his blue to do the interview. And as he walked in and he passed the, sh the, sh the shadow, in the dark, I saw the devil. Literally, like I said, oh, sweet Yesiah. What am I looking at? Because I already knew that it was not them. I, I just, we, we already knew that. But if you go back, you have to do your own research. That interview with the Buffalo Bills, it is such a telling, 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 telling um, sign for the church. But I am telling you, as this entity, because that's what it is, it's an entity, right? I'm going to go back to that. As this, and I tried to screenshot it, but it's so fuzzy. It's so annoying because, uh, you know, I don't have the, the right tools to do the stuff. But as I tried to screenshot the entity walking in, it is so dark. I literally saw the devil. Like, so dark, brother. You're not even going to see it because it's so dark. But when he walks in, Life has a bit fuzzy, um, dirty as well. I literally, this is the so-called Damar. It's not Damar, really. It's, the, it's Predator, the entity, right? I saw on his face, Satan, like literally the devil. So I wonder, ugh, these people are so wicked, honestly. Lots of conjuring up gone. But let us continue to read, right? So the Bible says that, so this angel... Add the key to the bottomless pit. Watch this. And he opened the bottomless pit. What's a higher showed me, mom? Number five. Holy Ghost said number five represents the fifth angel, which is the, 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 the angel of a higher that is going to blow this trumpet so this prophecy can come to pass. It's getting ready to blow this trumpet. Watch this. And he opened the bottom, this is a fallen angel, now he's got the key, now he's got the key, right? And he opened the bottomless pit. And there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. And upon and unto them was given power as scorpions of the earth. Let me read that one more time, sorry, brothers and sisters. And it and and there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. And unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded that they should not hurt the grass or the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of a higher in their foreheads. Fifth angel. It's about to kick off, brothers and sisters.
and we know you need to read Revelation 9. This is, this is a prophecy that is going to come to pass. Watch this. And to them, it was given that they should not kill them. Sorry. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass. I've read that already, ain't it? Now, so, so, but only those men which have not the seal of a higher in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. <laughs> five. Come on, old church. <laughs> five. My mommy saw five. But I kind of get it right, didn't I? Because I did say, could it represent five months? Not, not literally the next five months coming up, but five months into something. When she said, when my mom says to me, what do you think the five represent? Because she wanted to ask me. And I said, it could represent five months. But, you know, not the five, like I said, not this five months coming, but according to the revelation that she had. But the Bible says that for five months, these people who had not the mark of a high in their head were tor tormented for five months. And their torment was, was as a torment of a scorpion, which he stingeth a man. Or like a bee sting. That's hot. I mean, I've been stung by a wasp already, brother. And it's not nice. I'm telling you that. I know it's no scorpion. But everyone knows, you know, bees or wasp. If you've been stung by that thing, it's painful. Can you imagine scorpion sting? <laughs> so that's how these people are going to go through. Stinging body all the days for five months, right? And in those days shall men seek death, and it shall not find them, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. This is quite deep, because you see, death is a spirit. Death is an entity. It is an entity. So these people who have not the mark of Ahaya in their foreheads, when the scorpion comes out of the bottomless pit and begin to sting them, brothers and sisters, listen to me. These people are going to want to die because of the pain. And the death is going to flee from them. They can't die. And I believe even if they take loads of medication, they're still not going to die. Come on, no church. Even if they jump off a cliff, they're still not going to die. They can't die. Because death has left, literally left the building. A highest taking away death. Because that would be too easy for these people. To, to get them out of the misery, the only thing is kill myself. But literally, the entity death is going to flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. And on their heads were as it were crowns like gold and their faces were faces of man and they had hair as a hair of a woman and their teeth <laughs> were as the teeth of lions this is deep high never lies wake up church my mom got the vision number five she saw it a high shoulder and, and taller the inter interpretation that's the fifth angel sounding we have to wake up some of us we don't like to read revelation i don't know why we why we scared of revelation so much but the bible said blessed are those who read the book hallelujah blessed are those who read this book which is revelation so you're already blessed when you read it revelation knowledge is the intent of god is the intent of a higher. So if you don't read Revelation, how are you going to know his intent? How are you going to know his heart? How are you going to know prophecy? How are you going to know what's going to come? Well, you're depending on your pastors, but they don't even touch the book of Revelation. These mega preachers don't even touch the book of Revelation. It's sad. Very, very sad. But the Lord is saying that you should study 
to show yourself approve a good workmanship unto the most high. The fifth angel will sound, brothers and sisters. The fifth trumpet, hallelujah, which is a which carries with fifth angel which carries that trumpet will sound. This is deep. This is very, 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 very deep. All right. So I wanted to come and tell you the prophecy of my mom and the vision that she got. Powerful, isn't it? Vision was very short. Just the big number five came up in front of her. And her highest said that it represents the fifth angel. And we read and the stuff that's on here. Listen, boy, you just don't want to be here. Like, yeah, you have to have the seal of the most high. I believe that the seal that he's talking about is, is um, I'm thinking it's a seal of 144,000. You have to read the whole, I need to read the whole thing. All right. But. I know some people are going to read this and say, oh, well, the, the church won't be here. Well, we know that. A high is going to pour his judgment in it, the vials. The vials. He's going to pour them out. But these angels, these first angels, second angels, the seven angels, you have to place them in prophecy. You can't just conjure up because you're thinking, oh God, I don't want to be here. So the rapture is already coming. You have to line up scripture. You got to place it where it needs to go. Okay. Um. So you got the seven angel, they got the seven vials, you got the seven bowls. So you got to place them and see where they fall into place. And that's by studying revelation. It's no good you're jumping up and down because your pastor said, oh, rapture is coming any day now. Can't do that. You have to study for yourself and see where these judgment falls. Like I say, you got the seven angels. The seven vials, the seven bowls, so place them. I need to, that's going to be my next um, mission. Because I really need to begin to place these seven angels. Is it before the second exodus? Is it after the second exodus? Where exactly is it going to fall? Because we need to know. And, you know, it's not that the Lord is going to hide the revelation from us because his intent, hallelujah, the heart of the most guy is to lead us into all truth. So this is my own work. I'm going to have to study this and see where exactly it falls. And see where exactly it falls. But yes, brothers and sisters, hallelujah to the most guy. Glory be to your name, Lord. We thank you and we praise you. We worship you before the foundation. Hallelujah to the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth. Hallelujah. Okay, if we come to the end of the video. Okay. Um, so this right, top 20 beautiful beloved and the powerful video that I did concerning Damar entity. That's a video when I reveal that the entity in Damar is called the predator. High-ranking fallen angel. No little baby, baby falling. No, this is a high-ranking one. The test is a test run for the Antichrist. Because we know that when the Antichrist comes on the scene, that Satan will possess him. The Bible says that Satan, he, Satan is going to give up his throne to the Antichrist. How is he going to give up his throne? Is he just going to say, all right, there you go. There's me. No. There's going to have to be some ritual going on, brothers and sisters. The Antichrist will have to go through some... some <laughs> the creation people understand what's up what was before them antichrist is going to go through the most demonic horrendous wicked satanic hideous beyond humanity ritual to get the throne of Satan. Baba tells you Satan is going to give the Antichrist his seat. How is he going to get it? Satan just walk up and say, there you go. 
pat on the back. There you go. Well done. No. The spirit of Satan is going to be in this creature. This man. The Antichrist. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you. Go and study the book of Revelation. It's not a scary book. Please, instead of, I don't know. I don't want to judge nobody and say they're doing this and they're doing that. But you really, 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 really need. This is the moment. This is a time. This is a season to begin to study the book of Revelation. Go and study it. Because I'm telling you, these prophecies in there are going to come to pass. It is going to happen. Let me quickly go back to this. And this is in what i've just read why do you think where is it gone <sighs> hollywood is so wicked that, that, that they're just the most i don't even know what to call them hidden in plain sight for those of you and i'm going back to the movie predator did you know that hollywood in that movie predator with arnold schwarzenegger the first ever predator movie did you know that Hollywood based Predator of the Locusts? Did you know that? I'm not saying to go and watch Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Predator, but find a predator, find the the um, image of the Predator. Because in Revelation 9, it describes the locusts. It describes these entities. Right? Locusts upon them. Right? Um, I'm going to look at where it describes the entities. So, if you go down to breast... breast Say that the shape of the locusts were like unto horses, prepared for unto battle. Heads were like crowns, like gold. Faces, faces of man. But the breastplate and all of that, Hollywood, I believe, went into Revelation 9, took some of the stuff and gave it to this predator. Because they know, they know, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, they know. Hollywood know. They know. But we don't care if they know. We don't, that don't faze us because we know the truth and we know who we are in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and, and listen, get ready for some more darker movies to come out from Hollywood by going into... Because you see, they read the book of Revelation. It's only the church that don't read it. So you're going to watch this movie. You, walk, you go, you watch these movies and you think, oh, that was a nice movie, wasn't it? And in your head, you think it's all oh, just fiction. It's not true. But if you read the book of Revelation and what they're saying and what they're putting in the movie, it mirrors. It mirrors, brothers and sisters. Don't be fooled. Got to be one step ahead of Satan. So that predator that's in Damon running around, listen, they know. All right. Say the sinner's prayer with me. Dear Messiah the Christ. I know that you're the son of Haya, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesaya have died on the cross for my sins. Yesaya, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe in your death, burial, resurrection. And that Haya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Haya. Yesaya, king of glory. I come before you right now. And I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent from my wicked ways, Ahaya. I thank you for your beautiful son, Messiah. And I pray that you help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. You said that pray, believe with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, where the Bible talks about repentance. Um... You need, when Bible talks about repentance, you now need to find a man of the most high, ask him to fully dunk you in water, spiritual transformation. When you go down in water, you're saying that your side died on the cross, you believe in the atonement of sin. When the man of the most high raises you out of the water, you're raised into new life, you're raised into the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection, beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with a higher, just like Enoch and have the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high, higher. 
who lives above the heavens Ahaya, eternal bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in the science holy name amen amen let's say the benediction benediction is jude chapter one jude chapter one verses 24 to 25 the bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Messiah, our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen and amen amen blessings